Hello everyone, it's Shiki with another Transformers review, and today we'll be reviewing the big bad boy, who's not really a bad boy, who's actually a good guy, Grimlock, the big T-Rex. And as you can see on the box, Wheelie can ride Grimlock. And of course, this is from the 86 movie. And here you can see Wheelie, and here you can see Grimlock. Although, due to the glare and lighting, it, you can't see him too clear, but we'll remember that as soon as I get him out of the box. And he does have quite some heft to him. Uh, Grimlock Combat Wheelie Series 86, number 6, Aiden Up. Nice art of Wheelie and Grimlock. Authentic Transformers. Uh, he transforms in 24 steps, dino mode and a robot mode, and I guess I want to show his weapon storage off, and there's Wheelie riding Grimlock, and he does have a backdrop included, Mockery of Justice, so this is probably, you know, when they stormed the, uh, the courtroom on the Quintesson homeworld, that... Cup and Hot Rod were, well, on a Mockery of Justice trial. And there we go. Got him out of the packaging. And as you can see, already with the slightly improved lighting, how much better he looks. And here is his instructions right here. And of course, the obligatory... Warning, do not eat this. Even though they print it on the box, I feel like they, for some reason, feel like they have to include it inside the box on a separate sheet of paper. And then, of course, the obligatory Studio Series backdrop, which, as you can see, is the Pit of Justice, as far as I can tell. Um, maybe that's up, maybe like up here is where the Quintesson Judge would have been. I'm not exactly sure, but. It looks like the pit, and as you can see, I, well, actually, never mind. It's just more the glow of the uh, red down here reflecting on here. At first, I was going to say, it looks almost like red at the bottom, but nope, that's just uh, red reflecting off the base onto, it's just, this is a relatively plain looking backdrop. I think it would have been cooler if they'd done something a little more along the lines of the Quintesson Judge pit thing that they released for Hasbro Pulse which I did pre-order a while back. I have no idea when it's going to arrive. And even when it does, it'll be ages before I'm able to review it, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and toss that aside because I don't think I'm going to save that because, you know, reasons. It's uh, very plain looking. Uh, no offense intended exactly. Um, let's go ahead and just look at his instructions. It goes from a robot to dino in a few quick, easy steps. Well, hopefully easy and hopefully relatively quick, but then again, I do like a challenge sometimes. And then, of course, that's where you can do with Wheelie and his gun. Let's take a look at them, and hopefully I won't, it won't be a huge struggle to get them out. Because, like I said, I don't have anything really to... Uh, cut to these ties so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a struggle but let's go ahead and get that one get, whoa get that one get that one and I am trying to be relatively quiet because you know I'm staying in a hotel room and it is getting a little bit later yeah it's getting a little late so I'll Try to be a little quieter, but the problem is this is loud, loud snapping noises. Okay, I think I'm just gonna pause until I get him out. All right, so here we have the dynamic duo that helped stop the Quintessons from killing Cup and Hot Rod. Um, as you can see, he is pretty big. Um, kind of difficult to get them all in the frame, all of them in the frame. And here we have Wheelie sitting on his shoulder. You can also sit on this shoulder due to a peg on his backside or on one of his legs. Uh, here's, of course, his gun that goes in his hand. 
and probably just want to have that up if you want to see both of his hands. Um, his gun is a, a big chunk of plastic. Uh, well, I think it's like two pieces, probably two, a few pieces put together, but it's just a big old double barreled gun for him to use. Maybe a double barreled shotgun, something along those lines, but that's about it for the gun. Just one solid color. And let's go ahead and set the off to the side. And then let's go ahead and take a look at Wheelie. Wheelie himself is has a nice fair amount of, of detail on him. Like his face is nicely painted with uh, dark silver for the edge of his face, silver for his face, and then blue for his eyes. Although on mine it looks like they messed up the blue paint just slightly. Not going to gripe too much about that. His head is on a ball joint. It does do a full 360. does go side to side, up and down. And then he does have um, arm, a shoulder rotation. Does full 360. Can rotate in that far, back out that far. His other arm can do a full 360, go out that far. No bend at the elbow. No swivel at the wrist. And, of course, he has his slingshot, which is removable on a 5mm peg, I do believe. And then you can probably have him hold, like he's about to shoot it like that. As you can see, it looks like he's about to uh, fire his slingshot. Energon slingshot, I think is what it is. But uh, the biggest disappointment about Wheelie that I knew was going to be a disappointment when I first, before I even got him, and, of course, his hip does a whole 360 it is on a ball joint it looks like so it does do a little bit of wiggling and at his um hips he can do the full splits although it's kind of inhibited by his uh lack of knee joints um and then he of course has the peg right there from the right grimlock and I guess you can maybe try to have him stand up on his own, doing a weird, like, karate pose or martial arts pose, something like that, which, I mean, doesn't look too horrible, but it's just, I mean, how much more work would it have been for them to just put an extra joint here, an extra joint here, a joint here, and a joint here? Like, I'm not even asking for hand rotation or anything like that, just... One, two, three, four extra joints. I mean, how hard would that have been? It would have made this fun figure. I'm not even saying, like, he had to transform. Just, you know, make him more articulated. I mean, come on. I mean, it's not too terribly hard to do. I mean, they could have even tried downsizing their uh, Titans Returns wheelie, which was... Oh, really good figure for wheelie and i wouldn't mind actually comparing him side by side although he is bigger than him so it might not scale as well with this big old lug um but i feel like i'd rather display them together if i knew you know that i could do more than just have him sit but as far as what he does in in the show or in the in the movie when he was like riding on a shoulder stuff like that riding him on him in dino mode i mean it's it's sufficient for that so i guess i can't exactly blame him for that part because it does you are able to reenact that kind of part from the movie um now let's go ahead and take a look at grimlock himself his head is done in a dark gray plastic uh it can do a full 360 of course uh his uh, mouthpiece is the same color i'm pretty sure it's the same color in the, sh in the show and movies as well a uh, dark blue visor um, not a huge amount of detail to really speak for. He does have a, a smoky black uh, chest piece over his Autobot emblem and uh, golden chest with uh, golden sh on his shoulders. Um, oh, and like I mentioned in the when I was holding the box, he is very hefty feeling, um, very boxy, chunky guy. I uh, definitely want to mess with him. Um, and then, as far as articulation goes, uh, he can do shoulders that far. 
can rotate a full 360, although these kind of get in the way. And you can also have them angled however you like. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. He does have he does have the uh, bicep uh, joint as well, but it does snap into place. So I'm kind of afraid that that peg's gonna snap off at some point. And it is a friction joint, but it is very stiff. It can go forward that far. Obviously, can't go back any further because of that pin. And uh, he does have a wrist rotation. His hands, of course, flip in, but that's more for transformation. And that's about it for his arms. Um, for his, uh, he doesn't have any ab crunch or anything like that, but he does have full 360 at his hips. Legs can go forward that far, a little bit higher than some. Uh, back that far. As I guess he has no <laughs> behind to really speak of. Uh, he can do the full splits. And he does have uh, thigh rotation. His knees can bend that far back. They don't bend forward. Uh, and then uh, he does have ankle tiltage. Even with his big blocky chonky feet. They still tilt. Which is kind of nice. And... Although this is probably more for transformation, but I guess you can also move his heel. And that's about it for his uh, robot mode. Although, I, I think you probably have to keep these up for his robot mode if you want to even access his hands. Because whenever they go down, his hands are completely covered. And I'm sure in his robot mode, as you can see right here, they are flipped up. And let's go ahead and get him transformed. Alright, so to get this big guy transformed into his a uh, dino mode, you want to go ahead and start off with uh, flipping his hands in, like so. Uh, I guess you can also straighten those out. And then, you know, just to kind of move his arms up like that. Um, one thing that I kind of wish they had decided to include with him uh, is instead of his gun or at least in addition to his gun is like his sword like that's one of the things he's known for but oh well i mean he's pretty good so far either way but you go ahead and flip his heels back down like here like right there and then you want to go ahead and open up his, the back of his legs like that and then you flip out the tip of his tail like so and he is pretty pretty smooth transformation and you want to go ahead and rotate at the knee just all the way down just rotate all the way around like so and it should ratchet and click into place and then you just want to go ahead and tab it all together like so uh, go ahead and rotate these in together as well Make sure that they get all nice tabbed and squeezed together. Uh, same with the ankles, or not heel, heels of his feet. Uh, and as you can see, he pretty much got his uh, tail done. And this does not like to stick together very well, but as you'll see in a moment, uh, you pull this down right here, this whole chest assembly down, and it goes ahead goes ahead and uh, slides over that, and also looks like these also tab into maybe in up here on his heels like that but maybe not the best tab although it gets in there stays pretty solid and then you pretty much got most of the dino done uh, then you have you can you know position his feet however you want or his uh, prior arms now um, legs and yeah weird Dino robot hybrid now. Go ahead and flip his head down like so. Flip his dino neck out like that. Rotate these up at an angle so that they'll make the clearance. And then go ahead and peg that all together. And uh, get out his T-Rex arms. And there we go. Rotate his head. 
and open up his mouth. And there we have Grimlock in his T-Rex mode. And might I say, he is a mighty impressive dinosaur. Um, although my main gripe, one of the only gripes I have about him in his dino mode, because I mean, he is awesome. Very faithful to G1, even the shape of his arms, even though making him kind of spindly, which is good. It's just... I wish they'd maybe given him a little bit more articulation than they did. Like maybe an extra hinge right here where it'd bend and maybe swivel a little bit. But I mean, it's not too hor it's not horrible. It's not really bad. Although and uh, just for comparison, here we have Dinobot where his uh hands actually do swivel like that. His little raptor hands swivel. Uh, and his uh do not, although they are on a ball joint right there. But it's kind of sad when a Voyager kind of beats out a Studio Series leader class figure, at least on that one point. But other than that, like, very smooth transformation, very fun to transform, very simple and qu uh, quick to do. Um, very nice, very nicely done. It's just so smooth and rounded. It's almost, not quite, but almost as satisfying as, say, um... A Cyclonus, who, oh man, he was such a treat to transform and mess around with because he's just so perfect, in my opinion. And then, of course, his gun does store up on his back, which I feel is kind of silly, but it's a place that you can store if you want to. Like that. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but it's a place. Um, as far as articulation is concerned, of course, you do have his mouth, which does have an effects plug right there. It'd be nice if they had some effects parts, you know, for him to breathe fire. But his head does go up and down. He does have a neck rotation, something that they didn't have to include, which is full 360. But so you can do different poses, maybe slightly different expressions. Uh, of course, his dino arms can do a full 360. They are on a ball joint, uh, and then they also looks like they where was it looks like it also has. Oh, never mind, it's not. It's just a mold hole. But as I say, it looks almost like it might have had a hinge for it to angle out a bit more. But it doesn't angle out much further than that. And then he does have bend at his arms where they can go about that far forward and this far back for different dino arm poses although this one looks kind of weird but yeah dino dino arms tiny little arms but yeah that's about it for his dino mode but excellently done although like I said I wish they had included his sword and then, of course you can have wheelie ride him like a trusty steed uh, I feel like him riding Grimlock was a little more fun and cool to an extent than um, the Age of Extinction Optimus riding Age of Extinction Grimlock's back, which was still cool, but I don't know. It just feels like they were just trying to recapture the magic that was this or the funny goofiness uh, of Wheelie and Grimlock. Then again, the 80s cartoon is a little bit more goofy and lighthearted, even though the movie was kind of dark. But um, I guess another gripe could be the screw holes. Like, they could have maybe plugged those up. But, hey, it's overall really good uh, aesthetic. And Wheelie does ride him, so, I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible by any means. But as with anything, there's always gripes that you can make complaints ways that they could have probably done it better but man is he the best grimlock that i have owned i wish i didn't have to send him back i mean i guess i could keep him locked up in my car but yeah it probably gets hot in california in the summer and i'm not sure how often i'm gonna have access to my car so I may as well send him back to back home to where uh yeah where he can be in a nice climate controlled closet but, yep, yeah, that's about it for Grimlock. Uh, if you like this review and you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.